Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Supai, and uh, we're gonna do a Apex Legends Season Eight tier list for today. So these these are gonna be like my views on Legends, um, what's good in the meta, stuff like that. So, um, so we got Bangalore first. Bangalore, um. Her smoke's good. Her ultimate's okay. Um, like Horizon, get out of her ultimate pretty easy. Um, Octane can, and then uh, even Pathfinder. Um, but she's she's pretty good all around. Uh, I I really like her uh, ability to um, when she gets shot at, she's able to move around really fast. Which really helps out. So, um, probably gonna put Bangalore, uh, probably in B. Yeah, probably B. Um, Bloodhound, let's see. Bloodhound has the speed, so Bloodhound's faster than Octane when he's in his ultimate. He's got the pings, which are pretty good, and then he can find foot tracks. Or, she can find foot tracks, my bad. So, a lot of people put Bloodhound in S tier, um, but he can't get you high ground like Pathfinder can. Um, I do feel like he, he gets uh, pretty uh, messed up uh, if you're not really a good Bloodhound, so I'm probably going to put him in A. Uh, Crypto. Crypto, um... Crypto's just like Bloodhound in this way. Uh, he's able to see where people are. The thing I do like about Crypto more than Bloodhound is the fact that Crypto can destroy people's shields with his drone. Um, he can literally see people from, you know, a mile away. And then you guys kind of can, uh, you know, make a strategy in order to move in. Um, and then on top of that, Crypto can... He can hack the beacons, and then he can also grab banners and bring teammates back uh, pretty quick. And then when he gets out of his drone, he can reload. So, or like he, it's like instant reload. So, I don't know, man. I I I think Crypto is better than Bloodhound. Um, and uh, hear me out on this. Uh, the reason I say this is because. Bloodhound's only really good if you guys are all, like, you guys are, like, always aping people. So, like, if your whole team are just going in and then just slaying, you know, these teams, then Bloodhound is good. But if you guys are not slaying and you guys are, like, uh, more reserved, more, like, trying to figure out what's going on, stuff like that, I would, I would instantly pick Crypto. Um, that's gonna be a tough one for me. Uh, I, I myself would probably have Crypto at, uh, S tier compared to Bloodhound. And that, that's, that's just me because, um, I just think Crypto is better than Bloodhound in that sense. Um, especially like in casual lobbies, um, most of the time we get Bloodhound and most of the Bloodhounds we get, like, just die off, off the bat. Also, like, um, Crypto is good in ranked, so... That's why I'm putting Crypto in S tier. Uh, Fuse is next. Let's see this. Um, Fuse. A lot of people like think Fuse is like the worst legend there is. Um, he definitely takes some like learning to him. Like especially to be able to like throw some crazy ass like uh, grenades at people and you know use his tactical right or his it's his tactical right his ultimate right stuff like that. Uh, he's more of a, uh, zone-in legend, um, than a close-up because he doesn't have the mobility. Uh, so I'd probably put Fuse probably in the, uh, B tier, maybe? Because he's good when you're using him, like, like, distance. But up close, he's kind of bad. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with C on Fuse. Okay. 
Gibby. Ah, this is a hard one. Ever since Gibby got the nerf of, he doesn't have no more fast heals in the dome, so that's gone, which sucks. Um, and then now his, uh, if his, his shield breaks, uh, easier, and then he takes bleed damage, so he's wor- like, I don't get how they say, like, Gibby is S tier, because he clearly is not after the nerf. Um, Gibby's still good, I still think Gibby is better than Lifeline in a way. But Gibby is definitely not S tier. Um, man, that's going to be a hard one, though. Probably going to put Gibby in A. Yeah, Gibby in A. Horizon. Horizon got nerfed uh, again to her ultimate, to her tactical. They're trying to. They're going to nerf her again. They're going to make it to where she can't even really move in her tactical. So she's going to be mostly just used for getting high ground. Since you're not going to be able to do all the crazy stunts that you were before with Horizon. Um, you might be able to do a little combo with uh, Horizon's ultimate. Uh, with Fuse and then Caustic. But even then, that's hard to pull off sometimes. Um, I don't know. I'm saying Horizon's probably going to probably gonna be A tier. A or B. Man, that's hard. Because I really like Horizon. I really do. And it's sad to see that she's nerfed. I'm going to go with A. Uh, Lifeline. Ah, man. Okay, so we got Season 9 nerfs, it looks like. They're going to get rid of the shield on her bot, which is going to make her worse than she already is. Um, but she is going to get fast heal on her bot, it looks like. And then she's going to get, like, better stuff in the care package. So, she might actually be better. Oh, man. She might actually be better. But I don't know, man. Like, people, I mean, she doesn't have the mobility. So, people still rush you when you're picking up teammates. Uh, the shield is just there to help you. So you, oh, so you don't get, you know, messed up. Um, but no, she's more of a passive legend in the sense that, you know, you're mostly just in the background waiting for your homies to get knocked and then picking them up and then healing. So, man, that's so hard. I'm going to go with B probably. Mm, man. You know, it's kind of sad, too, because I do think, do think Fuse is better than Lifeline. So we're going to go, this is what we're going to do right here. Fuse and B, and then Lifeline and C. Yeah. Because I still, I still think Gibby is better than Lifeline. Um, because Gibby is, Gibby has his bombardment as well where lifeline doesn't really have anything like that so okay loba loba oh man she is double thick uh, a lot of people think loba sucks um her tactical is uh a lot of people i think they want her tactical to like just instant like pop anywhere so they can run up on people and kill them and shit um but loba's more of like you know Use her tactical to get away from people. Uh, use her tactical to get high places. To get in places where you normally can't get into. You can even sneak in the buildings with her tactical. Um, she's not having the issue where she was with her bracelet before. Because it seems like they fixed that. Um, her ultimate's really good for getting... like It saves you on time when you're looting. Um, you guys just have an easier time grabbing stuff, uh, than, you know, running around like fucking chickens with your heads chopped off. So Loba is actually really good. Um, I give her more credit than a lot of people do. Oh, man. Oh, and then you can use her, uh, you can use her ultimate to block doors with, uh, which is really good. So, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pick Loba. I'm uh, Loba is probably gonna be 
because she has the mobility and she can get loot so she ain't, the whole healing thing is out of the picture I'm gonna say Loba is better than lifeline straight up Loba is better than lifeline Mirage okay this is my buddy's favorite legend right if you're a good Mirage and you get it like tricking people and you can fuck people up I would say play Mirage if you're not good at that like tricking people and you know doing all these bamboozles um, the only thing he has good to him besides the decoys is his uh, resin ability but even then some people can still hear you or like where you're at and then on top of that like now revenant stops you from resin but you can also go invisible when you bring teammates back at the uh, the res beacon as well so mirage I'm gonna give you a C tier so this is what we're looking at right now guys uh, octane Ever since uh, the buffs, man, Octane is super good right now. He can double jump. He can get, like, really far distance. Like, um, he, like, you don't, you barely have to heal because, like, he gets all of the heals pretty much. So you don't even have to really have med kits or syringes on you. Um, so, and then his speed boost, like, he's just, he's just good all around. Um. He can get high ground pretty easy. Uh, you can set up the trap house and then put jump pads everywhere. Um, and then, you know, fuck people up that way. Uh, you used to, I uh, would say he, he he used to be able to block doors off with his jump pad. But now they, they got rid of that. So that's kind of a nerf. Um, man, he's a good trap legend if you use him like that. Uh, Octane's probably gonna go in the S tier, straight up. Uh, he he's just better. He's better than Horizon at this point. Um, Horizon's ultimate. If it if it like sucked more, like literally sucked people in more, was stronger, then she would probably be like really good. But yeah, I'm going with Octane on that one. Uh, Pathfinder. Um, I still think Pathfinder is better than Bloodhound. Um. Pathfinder might not have the, uh, you know, being able to scan and then seeing where people are. But he has the beacon. He has the high ground. He has the zip line in order to, like, get your teammates out of, like, sticky situations. Um, he has his own grapple to get high ground, to get away from people. Like, Bloodhound does not have that. Um, I'm going to say Pathfinder is S tier. Straight up. Uh, Rampart. Hmm. A lot of people would probably say Rampart is the worst legend up there with Fuse. But I would not. And the reason I say this is because Rampart, uh, ever since they buffed her walls, so now her walls don't instant die to Fuse's, uh, you know, grenades and stuff like that. Or grenades in general. Uh, she is a lot better. Um, her turret can do a little bit of work. So... Um, so if they maybe turn, turn her turret into like an auto turret, she would be way better. Um, so like a sentry turret, uh, maybe put a timer on it. Then Rampart would be like really, really good, like spicy good. Um, I still think she's better than maybe Gibby. A maybe, it's just a maybe, maybe, mainly because she can instantly just keep putting up walls. Um, you can only put up five at a time, but, like, those walls will definitely save you, dude, if you put them up right, stuff like that, and you use her walls, instead of, like, you know, running towards them without your walls. Uh, you can instantly camp with her if you wanted to. You can block doors off. Um, man, that's a hard one. I'm gonna go ahead and say Rampart is A tier. Straight up, A tier. That's a final. Um, Watson. Okay, Watson got the uh, the buff to her uh, her shield, so she's got a little bit of shield regen, just like Octane. Um, it definitely helps. 
Um, I wish it was a little bit more like Octane, because then she would just be like the opposite of Octane, except for with shields. Um, her walls are good. Like, they do more damage, which is what we wanted, like, way back then, because people were just running through her walls with, like, no, like, punishment or anything, so, her walls are good, her ultimate is super good, um, for the stopping grenades, uh, any of that bullshit that a lot of people like to use, um, I think she's good in ranked, I think she's solid, uh, she has won me so many games, uh, she is my main, um, she doesn't have the mobility, but once, uh, low profile is gone off of her, she's gonna be even better, um, I'm kinda sad that she's not in tournament play right now, even though I think she should be over Caustic, so, Watson is gonna go 8th here. And then on top of that, she does better, er, her and, uh, Rampart together are solid. These two work as a pair. Like, you, if you're gonna play Rampart, you wanna Watson. Because these two, like, literally are really good with each other. Um, you put Rampart's wall in front of the door, you put Watson's fence behind her wall. So then it's like double protection when you're camping out in buildings. So... These two are solid together. Um, Wraith. Let's see here. Uh, we haven't been seeing too many uh, sweaty Wraiths around. Uh, mainly because they nerfed her where she's thicker now. So she's got a bigger booty now. Uh, so, I don't know. Her portal's still good. Um, getting away from fights is really good still. Um, she doesn't have the, uh, the Naruto run anymore, except for, you know, when she's cloaked, but, and then on top of that, she's thicker now, so you can easily hit her. Uh, I'm probably going to say A. Um, still think Pathfinder might be better than Wraith at this point. Um, Revenant. Revenant, Revenant, Revenant. Revenant is solid in the sense that his ultimate his ultimate is really clean for like getting into fights and then like getting a second chance. And then on top of that his tactical is a silence so you can silence people like and really mess them up if you do it like if you hit them with it. And then he can climb walls which he can get high ground. Uh, he's got crouch walk, which is silent, or like he's silent when he's crouch walking, and he's he and he goes pretty fast when he's crouch walk too. So he's like he's like a ninja in a way. Um, I really like Revenant. Um, I would say, <clears throat> man, paired with Octane, Revenant and Octane are like like really stupid together, especially in duos. Um, there's, like, so many, like, even, like, Revenant with, like, Wraith, like, you guys can port there, or with Pathfinder, like, like, there was a combo where you had, like, Revenant, like, Crypto, and, like, Wraith, but you could probably do, like, Revenant, like, Crypto, and Octane, and those guys would probably be really good together. Um, man, it's, it's toughy, toughy. Uh, he does have the timer still, which kind of sucks, um, but he doesn't have the range, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, he doesn't have the mobility, and he does get kind of messed up, like, if your team's not with you, unless you sneak up on people or you're in shadow mode. Um, I'm probably going to go with B, B on Revy, and then Caustic, big boy Caustic. Um, man, this is a toughie. They nerfed Caustic. Uh, nobody was looking forward to the nerf with Caustic. A lot of people hate Caustic, even the ones in tournament that say they, or that, that play Caustic, they hate them. Um, 
I, I think Caustic is getting a lot of the blame for, like, the Mastiff. Uh, the Mastiff is the main reason why so many people are getting messed up because of how strong the Mastiff was. It's just that when you paired the Mastiff with Caustic, with his gas, it just made things, like, even worse. Um, I don't think Caustic should have got a nerf. Like, even the devs explained that they wanted Caustic and Watson to be, like, a like a a threat or like someone to like not just be pushed up on um and then the devs listen to the f like crybaby like pros and then they fucking nerf like caustic so like god man like caustic right now he does a solid five he doesn't do a 12 anymore like he was he was doing like six to 12 ticks now he went back down to a solid 5. The only good thing he has right now is that he slows people, but he doesn't really slow Octane. Um he can trap, you know, you can trap doors, stuff like that. He's still good with Watson and um Rampart together if you do trap squad. Oh man. Probably going to put Caustic in the uh the B tier. Yeah. Yep. That's what we're looking at, boys. So you have Crypto, Octane, and Path in the S tier. Um, you have Bloodhound, Gibby, Horizon, Rampart, Watson, and Wraith in the A tier. You have Bangalore, Fuse, Loba, Revy, and now Caustic in the B tier. And then you have Lifeline, and you have Mirage in the C tier. Um, nobody in the D, E, and F. Um, I, I think they all like are pretty solid where they're at right now. Um, uh, I, I'm I'm upset about some of the nerfs um, with some of them. Like some of them, like if they didn't get nerfed, they'd be in S tier. Like, Gibby would be an S tier for me. Uh, Horizon would be an S tier if, if the, like, yeah, it's just the nerfs. I mean, Wraith would be an S tier. But, yeah, this is, this is it, guys. This is the, uh, solid Season 8 Apex Legends tier list from your boy Supai. And, uh, this is what we're looking at. So, if you want to get competitive... Play Crypto, Octane, and Path. There you go. Straight up. Get in the damn game, dude. Get in the damn game. Okay, guys. Uh, this is the end of uh, my tier list. Season 8. Uh, I'll probably make one for Season 9. Um, leave down in the comments what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the tier list. And um, are any of you guys ready for Season 9? I am. Uh, definitely want to... Check out the new legend that Chad talked about. You know, we're supposed to be getting a Japanese girl legend for season 9 according to him. So we'll see. Um, I have some suspicious, or suspicions on who it might be. Um, because there's like, you know, images and stuff like that. So I might, I might know who it is. I, I have a guess that it might be Valk, but... You know, it might be, uh, have a different name. Or she might have a different name. So, we'll see. But I will see you guys in the next uh, video. And peace out, guys. Like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll talk to you guys later.